Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today I will tell you about my December TBR. <music> December being the month of Christmas, I thought for once, why don't I pick up a bunch of Christmas books? So I scoured my shelf for the books that I haven't read yet. So basically my TBR books that are Christmassy and I didn't pick all of them, but I picked some of them. So let's go through it all, shall we? So the first book I have here is a like short story collection and it's called One Perfect Christmas and Other Stories by Paige Toon. So from what I know, um, this has a lot of short stories and stuff continuing on from all her other books and I'm kind of hoping it has nothing to do with the Johnny Jefferson, Jesse Jefferson series because those are the only page two books I haven't read yet and uh, I mean I will still read that short story if it comes to it but it would be good to actually know all the characters beforehand. But the way Page Toon writes, I'm pretty sure that even if they contain a character I've not read about yet, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna follow along as well <laughs> as anything. So, that's the first one we have. The other one I have is Christmas Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. Now, I'm pretty sure that for now anyway, this is the last book in the Christmas, no, in the Shopaholic series. And uh, <laughs> I've had like a love-hate kind of relationship with the Shopaholic series. I do enjoy it a lot, but the first like half of the book always gives me such massive anxiety. And I'm not quite sure why I've kept going with it, except for the fact that I, I I really just want to read all the books so I guess that's why but we'll see um I would like to have read it just so I can like have finished the series but <laughs> Sophie Kinsella being Sophie Kinsella this is probably not the last book ever and there probably will turn up another Shopaholic book eventually so yeah, and I have something in my eye. Don't you just love it when that happens? I do not. So the next two books are um, by the same author. So this one is An Island Christmas by Jenny Colgan. And I'm pretty sure it's like the fourth book or something in the M-U-R-E series of books. Um, all of which I have read so far. So... Yeah, I would like to see what all those characters get up for during Christmas. So, also, yeah, another Jenny Colgan book down there, down the drain, down the hatch. I should stop talking. <laughs> I do really enjoy Jenny Colgan books as well. They do not give me massive anxiety. However, most of them do give me a very peckish... Mm, I, I want more sweets and foods and stuff because a lot of her books contain sweets and foods and mostly sweets and yeah my tummy rumbles. <laughs> the next one I have is also the first hardback Jenny Colgan, Colgan book I have which is actually not my favourite because all her other books are all the same sizes and they all look so pretty together and this is gonna stand out, I'm not gonna lie. So maybe I will get, like, I will get my mum to buy this book in paperback and switch it. Because she literally does not care. <laughs> also, I don't think she has any Jenny Colgan books anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is The Christmas Bookshop by Jenny Colgan. I'm pretty sure this is a standalone. And, uh, you know, books, Christmas, what else? could go wrong here and um i think this is the one that nina from wrestling with books read during her um christmas and july series in july i will link that video in her channel down below because you really should check her out um if you haven't already but yeah i'm quite excited to pick this one up as well and then we have a, a book by the author we shouldn't really be mentioning, but I will anyway for the sake of this 
thing. Uh, so it's the Christmas Pig by JK Rowling. I have absolutely no idea what it is about except Christmas, a pig, one boy and his toy are about to change everything. Okay, that sounds interesting. Um, it's a children's book so I'm sure it's going to be a breeze to read. Anyway, also pretty sure there's like illustrations. Well, not a lot of illustrations but okay then. So, for the final book, <laughs> which is not technically true because I'm going to bring out more books because of this book, but it is the third book in the Christmasaurus series. So it's The Christmasaurus and the Naughty List by Tom Fletcher. Now, it's been a while since I read the other ones and I mean, I do remember all of them, um, <clears throat> but uh, doesn't mean I don't want to reread the books. So I have the first one here. I have two copies of it because one is a musical edition and one is just a standard normal edition. So we have um, the Christmasaurus. So I can either read like the normal one or I can uh, read the musical one and listen to the Christmas songs because there's a whole CD full of Christmas uh, songs that go with the Christmasaurus. So yeah. Pretty excited for that. And then we have the second book, which is uh, The Christmas Horrors and the Winter Witch. Uh, that one doesn't have a companion novel, but a companion novel, musical edition one. So yeah, and of course the last one. This is the one I haven't read yet. I have read the two previous ones, so I'm not sure about these yet the spines here because technically if we remove the uh, the musical one we have gold gold and red excuse me excuse me excuse me <laughs> obviously joking but yeah so those are the Christmas books that I pretty sure I have a grasp on and will try to do reading vlogs with. That's the goal anyway. Um, so December Bookmas should be more reading vlogs, but we shall also see because December, <laughs> uh, in December I have uh, Val and Katie coming and we'll be meeting up and do loads of things. So December will fly by and I have no idea how much reading I will actually be able to do, but it's fine. It's fine. I can just berate myself later if I haven't read any books. Like, you know. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Until then, a take care, a bye bye. Also, what Christmas books are you reading? Let me down. Let me know down below. <laughs>